Right, so... Welcome. Yeah. Right. Welcome everyone to QSOC 2017 Semester 2 8 Ball Competition Final. Um, today you have Kenneth, Wang and Jenny Bien commentating for you again. Yep. Hello everyone, so we're just starting. Um, as you can see, our legend and wing luck our two finalists today um, just performed the lag uh, wing one so it will be his break so um, the format today um, like I said before it's an eight ball competition so format eight ball um, it's a race to four until the finals and so the finals today that uh, you're watching now will be race to seven and um, four pockets yeah and so we have our players today wing um, who is racking up now and preparing to do his first break is a UNSW student studying commerce and actuarial studies. For his commerce degree, he's going to major in finance. Um, and this is actually his final semester at university, so hopefully he can take this one home today. Yeah, because um, <laughs> he's been in um, two finals before um, in our QSOC competitions. Our uh, first one was uh, Nine Ball um, last semester, in which he lost to Legend, who he is playing right now. And also in Scotch Doubles earlier um, this month. Yeah. Oh wait, last month. Yeah. Last month. Last yeah. month. Yeah, this semester. Um, and so Wings just broke in there. Uh, potted a three ball. Yeah. So um, for a ball, uh, it doesn't matter if you uh, put a ball on break. It is still open table after you sink a ball. So he can still go for strikes if he wants to. But uh, obviously uh, on this table, you can see that our stripes, I mean solids, is a lot better uh, to clear up. So yeah, definitely uh, the right choice made by our wing bet. And our other contestant today, who is not on the table yet, his name is Legend Fan. Um, really cool name. Wow, name. what a name! Legend. Legend. <laughs> <laughs> Love that name. Um, he's a student at Macquarie University studying software engineering. He's actually got two semesters now, so I think he's graduating at the end of next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so. so, even if uh, today falls through, um, he did well to make it past. Um, mm. All those, uh, he, he had a pretty tough bracket, I'd say. I mean, um, he did, but then at one point, yeah, yeah, I think so. But I, I think at one point, um, did he play me? I no. can't remember. Oh, no. he didn't. Oh. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, if he played you, it would have been a tougher bracket. <laughs> Thanks, Kenneth. Anytime, Jenny. Anytime. Right. So, um, Legend's first shot. Um, it's quite tough. So we'll give Wing another chance on the table. Um, and I definitely see clearance here. Not too many issues. <laughs> Not too many Not issues. Not too many issues. Um, yeah, so both players are playing really well today. Um, especially to make it this far. Definitely need to play um, at the top of your game. Um, <laughs> yeah, so very slow roll on the one. Yep. Very well played. Ooh. What a bit unlucky there. Yeah, no. yeah um, I don't think he even go can go one rail unless he half masses it. So he's definitely looking to go the other side. Yeah, just go one rail. Even try to pot it. That's a foul. So Legend's going to get ball in hand. I've been watching Legend play today, and he's been able to run out quite easily, so yeah. this might be an opportunity for him to run out again. Yeah, both are very strong and experienced players, so uh, if you are ooh, barely... <laughs> um, well, within QSOC we all uh, know that Legend is the cheat god, <laughs> and when we refer to cheating, we're actually talking about um, not putting the ball into the center of the pocket um, and it's not, not 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 necessarily referring to the fact that they're you know cheating cheating i'm not in... loyal <laughs> yes jenny they no, are yes. loyal <laughs> to the pool table <laughs> oh great shot great shot by legend there yeah. As I was saying before, Legend has been running out back today quite easily, so this is probably going to be another one. Yeah, not too many issues here. Yep, like it always says, not too many issues here. Oh, great back. shot, great yeah. shot. 
got the angle. Come uh, one rail off. Have to put a bit of side. Bit of right hand side. Oh! oh he miscued! Of all things! What happened there? Feels bad, feels bad. Feels bad indeed. This is an opportunity for a wing. How cool is Wing's shirt? I don't know if you can see that on camera, but his shirt has a cap on it and it says Mew 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 Mew. <laughs> Dig that. Are you a cat person, Jenny? Oh, for sure. Whoa. Quite fortunate there. Very, very good kiss on the eight. Um, now, very straightforward shot in the eight. Um, just a bit. Just a bit awkward since he needs the bridge to reach the keyboard. Yeah, no problems. Right, so first frame goes to wing lock, 1 0 in front. Yeah, goes to 7. And also, while wing is wrapping up, I just thought I'd give a shout out and a congratulations to Jason's son. He won today's free Q raffle. So he went home today with a brand new Fury Q. Yeah. Um, and this free Q raffle thing is basically um, an initiative that QSOC has given out to encourage new players in our competitions. So if you're a player and you don't play with your own Q and you play in our competition with a house Q, which is basically um, just one of the Qs that are available in the pool box, yep. then you are eligible automatically for the free Q raffle. Um, and as long as you're here playing, you can have a chance to win a brand new um, Fury Q. So that's what Jason's son did today and congrats to him. So I actually think he lost the first round unfortunately. To, but to wing. The to one wing. breaking yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he lost first round to wing. Um, he's a... Oh, what a break. <laughs> what a break. But he still went home with a brand new cues. There's so much value there. Yeah. <laughs> um, he, I was actually talking to him um, when he got his uh, cue, when I gave him his new cue. Yeah, yeah. Um, he actually calculated the uh, returns he oh, got. Did he? Um, depending on the value of the queue. Yeah. And we calculated that it was 1,800%. <laughs> yeah, because I think his entry fee was what? Five. Ten. Bucks. Ten? Yeah. Ten bucks. His entry fee was ten bucks, but obviously um, with the table time, because with most QSOC competitions, even if you lose first round, we keep some tables available um, for you to have a hit on. Um, so you get a couple of hours or you know, some time to play around with your dollar entry fee. Um, and that's just our way of trying to give back to our community again. We always say this during every single commentary. If you've been watching our commentary, uh, watching our videos and listening to our commentary, we always say this. But again, this is what QSOC is all about. It's about giving back to the community. Yep. Well said, Jenny. Well said. Ooh. Alright. Probably with a bit of pace. Just rattles out. Um, like I've said before in our previous, previous commentaries, uh, whenever you put pace, but uh, it makes the pot a lot tougher. You need to be much more accurate in order to get their ball. So, as you can see there, Wing had to force it out a little bit. And so, that extra little bit of pace he put on caused him to miss. And that's a very, uh, very, uh, crucial error you want to minimize. Mm. Alright, so legend back on the table. The chest clear things up. Oh, like I said before, pace. Oh, that was very close. Nail biter. That was an nail biter. I got so nervous watching that. Pressure by wing there. Avoid the side pocket. Perfect on the one. There's one play. Not too many issues here once again. Stun the five. Play the six. Stay on the seven. Should be very, very simple. Oh my god. Hmm. I think um, both players are really. Um, Falling for the uh, nerves. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I think so. Like throughout the duration of the day, um, watching both players play, they'll never make mistakes like this. Um, it's only right now. 
Alright, so another chance for Legend to try to pitch this frame and level it back up to uh, one one. Alright, well, kind of overran that ball a little bit. So, just quite awkward to get position on the air ball. Yeah, and once again, pace. That's what pace does. <laughs> makes you miss. I feel like from our past few videos, a few things I've picked up about what Kenneth has always said is firstly, not too many issues here because clearly there's a clear pattern for clearing at the table. Um, but it's not always. I always jinx it, Jenny. You always, always jinx, jinx it. it. It's always easier said than done. <laughs> Especially when I think our players are under the pressure. Another thing is pace, 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 pace. And it's an issue with pace, which is valid. Fair enough. True. <laughs> Only play with pace if you have to play with pace. If there is a, there's always a way, well, not always, but most of the time there is a way to get position without playing pace at all. With a lot of pace. And that's always an option I most of all. That way you minimize the chances of you actually missing. Oh, alright, there you go. That barely goes in. Cheated the pocket. So that brings wing 2 0 up. Yeah. And race to 7. give a bit of an introduction to you Kenneth, considering that we've been commentating the past four videos and who am I? Who are you? Who am I? So Kenneth is a um, UNSW student, um, he's actually QSOC's events director, um, he's been part of the QSOC team for a couple of years now, how long Kenneth? One year. Started off as a committee, progressed into events director, technically, um, one of our strongest players I think within the QSOC team, actually across the entire society. Um, so that's kind of weird. He, oh, he's got a dog that's really cute. <laughs> Fun fact for you. His name is Gucci. Yeah, Gucci. Your dog is all Gucci. Yeah. Right, so back into the game. Um, very good break by Win. But uh, unfortunately, the cube was scratched. So this gives Legend a chance on the table. Um, so you can see that Legend took solid. Uh, the reason is, as you can see on the table, very simple. Very simple clearance. So all we need to do is just roll this two in, stay on the seven, make sure he doesn't go behind the ten. Oh, I think he hit it too hard. He hit it way too hard. Whoa, some drama in this uh, in this frame. I, mean, I honestly thought I would have had that. It's very tough to uh, you know, touch, but let alone get the point. Uh, yeah, so Legend just asked me uh, whether that was a frozen ball. Was it a frozen ball? Yep, so a frozen ball is when the object ball, um, which is the 7 in this case, is touching the uh, red. Uh, the reason for that is after you make contact, just like that, uh, another ball actually needs to make contact with the rail, otherwise it will constitute as a foul. Now, uh, Legend knowing that, tried to lightly tap the 7 and get the cue ball to touch the rail, but unfortunately it didn't do so. So, uh, gave Wing the ball in hand here. So, a chance for Wing to kind of clear and steal this frame yet again from Legend. This is such a random comment from me, but 
when I'm watching Wing Q today, this is the second time I'm going to talk about his shirt. When I'm watching Wing Q today, his um, Q is actually rubbing against the print on his shirt. And I find that like, I, I don't know if that annoys him, but I feel like it's it annoying me a lot when I play. Um, actually, <laughs> Yeah, because um, yeah, you can see it there right now, so it's rubbing against his shirt. <laughs> I don't know if that annoys him. Um, well, I personally cue against my chest as well. No, 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 like I cue against my chest too, but the shirt, like the shirt pattern, I think yeah. it's causing friction. I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. It really doesn't affect me. Yeah, it's just annoying though. <laughs> well, if you're playing in a final, you just need to shoot out those thoughts yeah. just focus on Which I think is what Wing is doing. Yeah. Uh, very nicely played. That was a very, very tough shot to get in. Especially after pressure. So now, the air ball. Ooh. Um, Opportunity for Legend. But very think, tough though. Yeah. Um, Wing definitely played well um, by purposely playing with a bit of pace. So that the cue ball, if he does miss the black, will end up towards the top rail, like it does, well, well, like it has right now, and that makes it very difficult for Legend mm. to try to play safety and even try to cut it. So I think Legend actually called the bank to the bank. Yeah, he called the bank into yeah. the top right hand corner pocket. We'll see how it goes. Oh, he got the kick? Ooh. Oh. Right, so as you can see there, um, Legend actually conceded the frame by um, moving the 7 ball back so we can uh, rack up, begin racking up. What's the sportsmanship? It's basically Legend recognizing Wing's skill level to not even be able to miss that line. Yeah. Especially in a finals game. Yeah. Yeah, so props to Legend. Backhanded again. Great breaks. Very well spread out. Very, very good opportunity. Break right here. We've got a shot on the five. Six, three, and a four all go into the side pockets. And you've got the two ball to set up for the black. Very ideal situation. Very ideal break. So we'll just see whether he can string those balls together. I'm gonna hit the five a little there. Um, bit awkward on all his remaining moves. That's to take the four actually. Oh, took the six on the side actually. Ooh. Very well controlled. Uh, Getting lucky with the position. Quite distant from his other moves. As long as he makes this, uh, there shouldn't be uh, any more issues. Ooh. Very good attempt by Wing there. The legend's back on the table now as well. Alright, so legend is stripes. Um, I don't know whether the 12 or 13 passes is on the side, but the way he's playing it shows me that it does. Yep, well Put on the 11, angle to come out, one rail for the 14. Ooh, you didn't want to bump the 9 though. The only thing you can do now is actually to use the 9 to come with the 14. Because he doesn't really have a shot at the 12 as well. So let's see how, how it goes. Well played, well played. Controlled very well. So now 
is looking at 12 into the bottom left hand corner. It's a bit tight. Uh, if it does go, that's definitely the pocket you want to pocket in. Yeah. The yeah. It's, uh, it's a very simple, just a push forward, go two rails down, just like that. Wasn't thinking of um, kissing the three there. Yeah. But I got quite fortunate. That's quite lucky. Yeah. Quite an ideal position. Oh. Both players are missing quite important shots. Shots that will win them the frame. They're all just rattling. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely the nerves of the final getting to them. Yeah. Both players would want this so bad. Great shot, great shot. Well played by Wing there. Perfect on the three. Not sure how much angle he has for the two because um, the 12 is right behind the two, so it's a bit awkward yeah. to get position since um, you need to be quite precise in your pace control. Since you don't want to spook yourself behind your opponent's tall ball. Great shot by Wing there, great shot. Nice control. Yes. So now he can go two rails out for the eight to the side pop. Like so. Yeah. Oh, very well played, Wing. <laughs> there you have it. I'd say it's 4 deal. Good jinx it. Never in doubt, Jenny. <laughs> Never in doubt. Alright, so Wing with a strong lead. 4 nil oh, up. Yeah, so he's already past the halfway point. I mean, going quite quickly. And Legend hasn't even got a frame on the board. Yeah. So Legend's in uh, a very big trouble here. Yeah, he is. Um, so if he's looking to get this title, he's going to have to step up the game. Yeah, and especially because um, at this point in the competition, his nerves will be getting to him as well. So you don't want that mental, indeed, indeed. mental game going down the drain as well. Because I think for a lot of players, once they start choking, or once they fall behind too much, they let it get to them. Yeah. And they can't perform as well as they normally would. Yeah. So hopefully Legend has enough experience to be able to control that sort of mentality, but we shall see. Well, there are players who strive under pressure. They actually play a lot better yeah. uh, when the tides are not on their side. So we'll see how Legend responds. Yeah. So, a uh, dry break actually. Uh, I think it was Wings' first dry break. So, a chance for Legend to finish the screen. Right, so Legend's looking to uh, get stripes here. Yeah. Uh, not too many issues on the table. Depending on where the 11 lands. Ooh. I can't really tell whether the 6 ball is blocking the 11 ball. Uh, no, I think, I, think it's, I think it's fine. Yeah, all his balls are should, should pocket, so I don't see too many issues here. Yeah, so let's pull up the challenge bracket today, Kenneth. Kind of. yes. Let's take a look at that. Let's see how they performed um, throughout the day. Um, yeah, so let's first take a look at Legend. Legend who's playing so, now. Yep, so Legend actually got a bye in the first round. Yeah. And second round, he played Matthew, uh, beat him 4-2. Um, and then the third round, he was against Deyu. Beat him 4-1. Mm -hmm. And then he played Hongjie. Right, so four five. That was a much that closer was a game. very close game. That was Hongjie, much. Hongjie, um, also Jeffrey. That's his uh, preferred English name. Yeah. He's uh, also a very very experienced player. Mm. And yeah, it's uh, that was a bit of a clash. Yeah. yeah. And then I think in the semi-finals, Legend played Christian. Um, and I think what was his score? Uh, it was four two. Four, four two. two. Legend play. And Chris is a very experienced player, which goes to show that um, I would say Chris playing. is the top seed of this competition. Yeah, Chris is the top seed of this competition. Actually, Chris uh, won the straight through competition. If any of you guys were following that video or saw that video, then you would have seen Chris perform in the straight through competition. He did exceptionally well in that competition, um, which goes to show how strong the player Chris Dam is. And the fact that Chris Dam lost today to Legend 4 2 goes to show that Legend today is performing exceptionally well as well. So, that has been Legends um, history for today. 
moving on to Wing. Let's take a look at how Wing did. Right, so Wing played Jason Sun, the winner of the uh, Q first round, Q raffle, 4 0. He then played Landon, um, which is actually Landon's first uh, Q song competition, beat him 4 2. And then Wing played Sunil, uh, one of our uh, committee members, yeah. uh, 4 0 once again. And then he played Will Ron, winner of the nine ball competition this semester and also this new competition. So 5 2 actually. So Damn. Wing is actually playing very well to have beaten uh, such a strong player as well. Yeah. Uh, Wing then played Iris. 5-2 um, as well, so... Mm. And Iris is a very strong player. Um, I think Iris is from a uh, Yusid. Yeah, um, snooker player. Yeah, snooker player, a very strong player as well. Yeah, so as you can see from the scores um, of uh, yeah. his victories, um, they none of them were close, I'd say, even yeah. remotely so it's close. Been, it's so been 4-0, 4-1. Quite one-sided wins yeah. for um, Chris, uh, for Wing. Uh, whereas on the other hand, Legend had a uh, one very close frame with for uh, Jeffrey. So yeah, so Wing definitely playing very well, as you can see. Uh, very very great shot in the fight here. So um, as you can see, he's got sort of three balls, the uh, three, four, and six. So whoa, a bit fortunate. I'm pretty sure he wasn't uh, playing for that actually. But look, but, uh, got nevertheless, a, got a, he'll take it, he'll yeah. take it. So I, I think mean, the, why not? Yeah. I think the six cuts yeah. into the middle. Yeah. Uh, it gives him a good opportunity to bump into the three to four as well. Oh, he's playing safety. He was playing safety. Attempting a safety. Or a two-way. Yep, so Legend, another chance back on the table to try to get his first frame. What he really needs. Um, I think both Legend and uh, Wing have their own cues actually. So I think Wing plays with a sneaky pee, correct? Yes, sneaky pee yeah. from Predator. Yeah. And Legend. Yeah. I believe so, yeah, it's a mess. Yeah, Legend plays the mess. So both Wing and Legend have their own cues, um, both pretty high end cues. Top um, two luxury brands of views, I'd say. Yeah, Mez and Meta, top two luxury brands for yeah, sure. Um, but having said that, a lot of our players who play in our comp don't have. Oh my have god. Legend, legend, what are you doing? Very I think he's also misses. thinking that because his facial expression is like, Whoa. <laughs> why? <laughs> this gives me another chance. To steal the frame from Legend once again. <laughs> this is a very crucial frame for Legend <laughs> since he's so behind. And I think um, one of our commentators, I mean, sorry, one of our oh, spectators. Oh, yeah. One of our spectators just has also made a valid point about the fact that there's a lot of uh, people watching the match today. So um, that would definitely give Legend and Wing a bit more pressure because obviously we're all not professional players, we're all amateur players in a way. Um, and so having a crowd watching would definitely, definitely increase the, the pressure, pressure yeah. and make you want to perform better than usual. Great but shot. Great shot by Wing. What a shot. Perfect on the eight. Right, so. With this, Wing will be up 5-0 in a race of 7. Things are looking quite grim for Legend. Well done to Wing, well done. Right, so... Yeah, so we've got some upcoming events um, coming up for the rest of this semester, but actually today's competition Table competition is probably the last competition it of the, the semester last. of the year, actually of the of year. The year. Yeah. Um, it's one of our biggest competitions, and today we had a great turnout. A lot of people came to participate. Um, experienced players, inexperienced players, first-time competitors. We had new members come up today as well yeah. um, for their first Q Soccer event, and I think they all actually had a really good time. I talked to them. Um, good fun. Um, so our next upcoming event is a social pool event, so a social event. Um, it's happening on the 21st of October on a Saturday, which is approximately, I think, week 12-ish for most yeah. universities. Yeah. 
So if you're not doing anything in the day, you should definitely come by because... Come by, last event of the semester. Yeah, great way to just like hang out with a few friends before um, finals kicks in and study mode kicks on. It's <laughs> yeah. so fun. Yeah. Um, and again, for social pool, it's completely free for our members. So think about that, a couple of hours of free social pool play with kids on that city heroes. Yeah. So we nine in the side pocket. Shot this. Are they overrunning? Behind two, nope. We'll play, we'll play. Shot the 11 into the side pocket. Stand by a uh, small margin. So now Legend has to convert this frame into something. Wouldn't want it to be a whitewash legend. It just doesn't suit your name. <laughs> very, very crucial miss by legend there once again. We're going to be looking to clean this up and go 6 0, which means he'll be on the hill. Yep. One frame left. It's been very one-sided towards being today. Yeah, very one-sided. Oh. I, I don't know what to say. He was fortunate to have uh, that in, but one less ball to put in the future. Why not? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Quite awkward. Very, in a very awkward position, legend. All in three in the corner. Ooh, just like by a tiny bit. It's a wing with another chance. Um, with my angle right now, it's very tough to see whether the 13 ball passes the five. But uh, yeah, we will be looking to. Oh, it does. Interesting. I thought we would be looking to. Oh. I don't know if he intended to knock that six out. No, no, no. Yeah, no. Definitely because now the way I would have played it was use the fourteen to combo and push the eleven in, and then play the orange, and then play the eleven, and then play the eight. Because right now the fourteen is in a very weak position because it only goes into that corner that is pulling out or the side combo. And obviously with the angle that he's got now, he can't do the side combo. Ooh. Risky play timing. Well, Wien can definitely afford to play more aggressively since he is 5 0 up. Um, that leaves Legend with the pressure, not on Wien. So that's why we'll see Wien take a lot more riskier, ballsier shots. Yeah, but I guess, I guess the issue with that is that sometimes it catches up to you. So you start feeling a bit more relaxed because you have such a huge lead, and then before you know it, your opponent has put up. So, can't be complacent, can it? Yes. <laughs> Must not be complacent. Yeah. It's never over until it's over. Yeah. It's never over until the final black is potty. That's how it works. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I don't know about that. I definitely think that went way further than the legend had intended it. Yeah. So I think he wanted, it, he wanted the three for the side pocket, yeah, but didn't get that. Great shot, great shot, my legend. Oh, no is Kenneth. Oh, sorry. Is, is Legend going to be able to get his first frame off wing? Yeah. Yeah, Jenny, am I going to get my first frame off wing? <laughs> legend did right, well it. Well done, Legend. 5 1. Yeah, so first frame on the board for Legend. Yeah. So he'll be looking to um, try to catch up to win as quick as he can, but otherwise he's in big trouble. Yeah. Yeah, so um, just an interesting fact about Wing actually. So Wing is actually part of the QSOC team. Yeah. Yeah. He's um honorary advisor, ex events director. Yeah. So he's honorary advisor for the events team. He used to be the events director, which is what Kenneth is now. Um, and actually to be part of the QSOC team, and this is a bit of a spiel for the QSOC team because 
when the committee applications open next year, if any of you are watching this and want to potentially join the QSOC executive committee team, you should definitely do it because it's been one of the best experiences of my life and I can probably say the same because I can definitely agree yeah. with that, Judy. So Wing is um, part of the QSOC team. This is his final semester, like I said. It's also my final semester. So after the semester ends, we'll both be leaving the team. And yeah, there's actually uh, a lot of uh, team members, uh, current team members who will be leaving the team. Uh, yeah, so Michael, who is the current president, will be finishing up his presidency at the end of this year. Um, and he will be graduating, um, I believe. And also, me, I'll be graduating at the end of this year. And I've had many years in Houston, six years in Houston. Six years. I went from being like a committee through to being marketing coordinator back when we had marketing. <laughs> to marketing director, to vice president, to president, president to honorary, to honorary advisor. advisor. So it's been a long time coming. Obviously, I'm not a very strong player. I'm more of a social player and I'm definitely Jeff, more part Jeff, of the Jeff, Jeff, Jeff. for the community. So I think that if you're So if you're thinking about joining the QSOC team in the future, don't hesitate because you don't think you're a strong in the pool player. A lot of our players, uh, sorry, a lot of our team members within the QSOC team aren't really in it because they're, you know, they're amazing at pool whatever. It's about getting experience yep. um, and actually being part of the QSOC team really raises um, your experience in terms of socials, in terms of professional aspects as well. And it's a great addition to your CV. Yep. And teamwork capabilities. Yeah. Because um, in a lot of our workplaces, um, when you do graduate and get jobs, uh, uh, mainly work in teams. Uh, and so, um, Leadership too. Yeah, so being able to work in a team uh, efficiently, effectively, it's very important. Um, so um, QSOC provides a very good opportunity for you to get started yeah. and understand a lot of, oh, a shot, a lot of the uh, fundamentals, uh, basics of working in a team. Uh, we use uh, many systems that are also incorporated in the company as well. So, yeah, definitely look out for uh, the committee. Recruitment. Yeah, recruitment committee applications. They usually open um, in, about, in about April, uh, April, May, that period of time. Yeah. So, definitely, I definitely encourage all university students to apply when that opens. Right, so legend back on the table. Stripes. Um, most of these balls are quite open, except for the 15. That's his only problem right now. So the only book that he goes to is the top left hand side. So he'll be looking for a way. It's a roll right behind the 15, so he has a shot to pop it down. Ooh, I think that's what he was trying to do there, but he uh, didn't play that too well. So now he's in a bit of a pickle. Because he doesn't want to give Wing an opportunity to clear things up. So, as you can see, Wing's balls are all out in the open as well. Not too many issues. So, you know, need to quick think about this. Yeah. So try to play a bit of a safety there, I think. Very fortunate. Um, the 9 ball actually rolled up right next to the 7. So now the 7. It's locked up? Yeah. So we'll have to see what Wing does to solve that problem. <laughs> so Wing is actually looking at the angle. To play safety so that legend also doesn't have a very easy clearance to take this frame off the top. This is a very crucial frame for both players. Legend really needs this frame to catch up, and Wing really needs this frame to be on the hill. I think both players would obviously want this so badly because they work so hard for this. Very good attempt. And I think I think 
my understanding and my analysis of both players is that they don't necessarily want to beat each other. It's the fact that they want to win for themselves, to prove to themselves that they can actually win this competition, to prove the fact that they can actually win. Um, it's not necessarily about beating each other. Yeah, yeah. Um, both players are quite close friends with each other. <laughs> yeah. Have a look at what we decide to do with seven ball now. Oh, okay. He's looking to kill it by drawing it back. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say it was close, but was it? Was it? Oh, it's a nice commentary. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay, that was close. Yeah, that was close. That was close. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's looking to double the seven into the bottom of the hand corner pocket. Mm. I'd say it was close, but oh. it wasn't. There's a cable going. Oh, very fortunate, very fortunate. <laughs> Let's talk about the new clock. For a second. How uh, nice is the new clock, Jenny? It's so beautiful. It's a pleasure to play on. Yeah, so with the new cloth, um, so City Heroes recently um, started reclothing their tables. Uh, I think all tables now have been reclothed actually. It was a one week process. Um, so they do this, I think, at least once a year. Once a year, once a year, once yeah. A year yeah. Um, yeah, so Which is why I like I must say like City Heroes is one of the most beautiful players in um, Sydney wow. for sure because they upkeep their tables really really well. Despite the fact there's so many people here. Alright, so wing with the bridge. Cutting the seven. The bottom left hand corner pocket. Very crucial. Oh yeah. over cut it. Alright, so legend. With a very simple shot, straight forward. An eight. Very easy spot for him to get position for. So, Legend should be on two frames. With wing on, still on five. It's so, five two now. So Jenny, mm. how is your final exam timetable for you? Um, um, well, I've only got one actual final. I've got three take homes actually, um, and my three take homes is a bit messed up because two of them are due on the sixth of November. One of them is due on the seventh of November. So oh, three God. due within two days, and then I've got my final um, exam on the sixteenth of November. And if all goes well, which hopefully will, um, that would be my last university final ever. <laughs> and then I'm out of here. See ya! <laughs> How about you? Well, um, I've got uh, one major project and three final exams. Um, all three exams are quite well spread out. I've got quite a few, like, two, three day breaks in between. So, no, no, no um, Know, stacked up exams, like two exams in one day or anything like that. So yeah. Not too many issues. Not too many issues. Not Even many with issues. your exams, not too many yes. issues. The pool table, like... with life, uni, <laughs> everything. Not too many issues. Not too many issues. Yeah. That's cool. I wonder, I've actually never been to Shell High before, but I, I'm going at the end of the year. And I wonder if there are actually many. Um, Nice pool halls there, not with snooker tables, but with American pool tables. It's really hard to find, I think. Normally, when I go to Beijing, um, I, I really struggle to find them. Yeah, um, China's a very uh, snooker dominant country. Yeah. Um, most players, if they do play some kind of kill sport, um, actually um, they sway towards snooker. Um, it's very popular there. Um, so, it's quite rare, rare to. 
actually find pool tables. Yeah, I did a quick Google search in Shanghai. Yeah. I think there are a few, but I've yet to be confirmed. Yes, because even if you do want to play eight ball, um, they actually play on Chinese eight ball tables, yeah, which cool. are rounded pockets yeah. and not American style of beads that like we play on our city halls. Yeah. Well, Legend attempted to break out the five and the eight ball there with the uh, deep screw on the six ball. Not too lucky, it kind of turn out the way he wanted it to. So we'll see what he can pull out. Wait, this legend strikes the spot. Oh, legend was striped. Oh, so he was trying to break out the, the 8 and the 10, which is the 5, not the 5 in the end. Right, so turnover once again. Another chance for Wing to try to clean this up. But, uh, very, very big problem for Wing since I believe the 7 and the 5 both tied up. Uh, biggest issue is 7 because he doesn't really have a, a very simple, uh, straightforward way to kind of go against himself. Yeah, he's trying to break out the 5 but now he's got really a bit of a tougher shot. Yeah, uh, pretty good. Oh. 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 shot. Go. Okay, the way he's looking at it, I think the 7 actually goes into the And we say this in every single video, but um, from where we're sitting to the commentary, it's actually really hard to see the angle on the table from the table. So, forgive us if any of us ever say something that is uh, inaccurate. Oh, that was overcut. <laughs> he actually, that, that we actually had an ideal awesome. angle to go into the 5 and the 8 there. Yeah. As long as he made the pot, but uh, pressure yeah, kind of got to him. him. Yeah, I think he kind of rushed the shot as well, don't you think? Yeah, he, he didn't did. really check out. Yeah, yeah, he didn't check his angles, didn't do his pre shot with his hand correctly, mm. the way he usually does it. Yeah. But then there was a bit of a stretch, so you wouldn't want to stay in that position for long. Yeah. I feel like everyone gets into a um, pre-shot routine. So some people get straight every time before they take the shot. Some people... Uh, I was playing with someone yesterday who... Uh, I was racing someone yesterday and they couldn't play without a talk holder. So they have to get into a routine of where they talk between shots and have their chalk holder on their pants. And I thought that was pretty interesting, but I mean, each to their own, right? Whatever works for you. If that's your free shot routine, then that's your free shot routine. But um, I oh, think... Oh, what a shot by <laughs> Wing. Yeah. Mr. Five actually goes, passes between the 10 and the 12, mm. uh, on the hand side pocket. So, very key shot for Wing. Oh, very well played, very well played. Right, we so have been using the, yeah, the rest, the bridge um, quite a bit today. Well, it doesn't have to be today. <laughs> he actually uses it quite often. Uh, great shot by Wing. 6 2. Yeah. So, so we now on the hill. Wing is on the hill to take the A4 Semester 2 Q-Sock title. Yeah. Let's see if he can do a break run. Yeah. Also, I'm not getting paid to say this. But can we just talk about how great City Heroes has become over the years? Because I remember when I first came to City Heroes for the first time, which is about more than six, six years ago. Six when years I, ago. Yeah, when I first joined QSOC, when City Heroes first opened, really, they were a much smaller pool hall uh, with much less facilities and over the years I've only ever seen City Heroes improve continuously. Um, 
They've expanded their size, they've got more tables, they've put in more entertainment facilities, including darts machines, uh, pinball machines. Internet cafe. Internet cafe, yeah. A, co a convenience like store with... Yeah. Uh, pinball machines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They've upgraded like their walls, everything looks really nice. Um, Marjong tables. Marjong tables, yeah. And they keep their tables really nice, which is what I mentioned earlier as well. TVs, just a really nice entertainment area. And I think that's what I really appreciate about City Heroes is that they continue to improve for their customers. And uh, that's why we really align, right? Because yeah. QSoft just continues to improve for our members. Um, it's a great partnership. <laughs> yeah. Um, fun fact City Heroes is planning to expand mm. to the board area um, yeah. very so, soon. By the end of this year or early next year, hopefully there will be a new location. Well, there will be, but it's there just a matter be. of when it's going to open. Um, there will be a new location um, for City Heroes in the suburbs. And so you can look forward to that because yeah. more fun times. Yeah, so I can have two homes instead of one. <laughs> yeah, Kenneth practically lives here. Oh. Just missed that by a very small margin. That's still open table. And Stripes is definitely. Whoever takes Stripe has the upper hand in this frame. So it's very crucial. It will be legend. Oh my what? god! What? 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 Uh, what? I, can't, I, I have no words. I don't know if you can. Legend! I know no one saw it, but I actually face palmed myself. Legend. That was. Shooking! I shook it. Shooking! I was shooking indeed. I, I shook it. You shook it. I shook it. I think Wing is also shook it. He's laughing. It's just so unexpected coming from Legend to miss completely like that. It's such a simple shot. Yeah. See, as I was saying earlier, never become complacent. <laughs> Right, so Wing was a very, very good opportunity to take this frame. Ooh, ooh, very careless. Very careless. He knew he was going to go into it, but the thing is, he can't hit it too hard because the direction the 13 was going is going to be right behind the 7, making it much harder than it needs to be. Ooh, very well played though, very well played. Right, so. That solves his problem. Um, so now he's just going to have to slow roll this nine. And we'll see if we can stay on the 11. If not, we'll just uh, play the other two. Oh, very good shot. On the 11. Mechanical bridge out once again. Yeah. Wings paved. Special for today. Great shot, great shot. Right, wing. Three balls left to take the semester two eight ball QSOC final on his final semester of yeah. uni. Yeah. What an achievement this will be. I would be so proud of him. <laughs> so happy. Yes, he he's been in so many finals. Yeah. He definitely needs to convert this one to a win. Oh, very good shot. Oh no. Oh no. himself on the 12 so now he's looking to kick this 12 in one rail Ooh. well I mean it's not a foul yeah at least it wasn't a foul yep but right. I guess the table's pretty open for legend yeah so this is uh, a very good opportunity for legend to uh, take this frame and bring it back to 3-6 because wing is on the hill mm. so. let's see whether or not legend can hold this down Ooh. just rattled the in cheat god the cheap that rattle though. Nicely played, nicely played. Shouldn't be an issue from here. Shouldn't be an issue. You always say that kind of... The only issue I see is the 7 anyway. Um, but it's good to leave there. Ooh, a bit awkward on the 2 now. Um, the keyboard just rolled in front of the 2, so it's a bit of a stretch. Um, so it's very risky because you might accidentally cue over the 2 ball and tap it and foul. Yeah, he played that with a bit too much pace, so um, should be fine. Um, he's got the five, but he might risk. Oh, he played it with pace. 
Exactly. That's what happens when you play with pace. That's what happens yeah. when you play with pace. <laughs> All right. Very good opportunity for Wing here to uh, take the win. Yeah. Ball in hand. Two balls left. Should be fine. No issues. Mm, the angle's a bit awkward though. No, nah, it's a natural angle to come up for the eight. So it's actually As an angle ideal. for potting the twelve. Oh, why? Why, why, why? Mm. Right, well, this is probably the last chance for uh, Legend to pinch this frame because uh, the 12 is just right over the pocket. So, Legend has to get this in. Oh, very close, very close. Left, perfect position for wing. Just bounces off the <laughs> 8. Perfect position on the 12. Do you think Wing's got this? I think this uh, is. Yeah, his he just moment. needs to draw this back. No issues. Oh, what he. Oh. He bumped it. <laughs> he bumped it. He bumped it. But, uh, I mean, it's still doable, it's fine, but the fine. angle's not ideal. Yeah, not ideal. Mm. It might risk scratching as well, so he needs to take his time. Mm. This is for the frame, this is for the match. Yeah. Oh, well played, well played. Well done, Wing. Go, Wing. Congratulations to Wing for winning the QSOC 2017 Semester 2 8 ball competition. It's been a long time coming for him and so him winning this is really exciting. Congrats to Wing and good job to Legend. Congratulations, congratulations. Right, so make sure to like and subscribe our Facebook page mm -hmm. um, and also put a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. Yeah. We'll see you guys in our next QSOC event. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.